Hello, I'm Lizzie. And I'm Jo. And we're research scientists studying Alzheimer's disease at the University of Leeds. We're going to take you through some techniques commonly used by molecular biologists in the study of disease. Today we're covering cloning and recombinant DNA technology. So we're going to talk about techniques such as polymerase chain reaction and restriction digests of DNA. We'll also throw in some higher level questions to try and get you thinking beyond the A-level syllabus. Okay, so we've obtained a DNA sample from a patient who's recently been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. We sent the sample off for sequencing, and let's have a look at what we've found, because it's really interesting. We've actually found that this patient has a mutation in a gene called APP. Now, this gene already has links with Alzheimer's disease, so at this stage we can predict that it's quite likely that a mutation within the patient's DNA in this APP gene has given rise to them having Alzheimer's disease. So let's go in and have a look at the nature of the mutation, and let's try and predict how this might affect the sequence of messenger RNA that's produced during transcription of the APP gene, and how this in turn might affect the primary sequence of amino acids that will be translated to form the APP protein. So as you can see here, our patient has a single base pair mutation in their APP gene. So this table will show us how each codon or triplet of base pairs corresponds to one of 20 different amino acids or a stop codon. We can see here that in our patient, the mutation in their APP gene means that one amino acid in the APP protein will be switched for another. You can see that an alanine residue will be switched for a glutamic acid amino acid. Now you can see that these amino acids are chemically different. So what we can predict is that the difference in the mutant amino acid might affect the APP protein, giving rise to Alzheimer's disease. And in fact, we know that the APP protein is cut or cleaved by an enzyme just around about where this mutation has taken place. And the more cutting that takes place, the higher the risk a person has of developing Alzheimer's disease. So we can predict that this glutamic acid makes the cut site more favourable, so there's more cutting by the enzyme that cleaves APP, and the patient ends up with Alzheimer's disease.